Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I uh, just got back from working for a week down in Arizona on a house. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things and seems like ever since last year everything in my life is a constant change and flux which I'd like to get some consistency. And, and, now, and then you know he started with the t podcast popped on. Anyway, uh, get some consistency and have uh, you know some things be stable in life. Don't know if it'll happen, but one thing I'm working on is my business being stable, and that seems to slowly be working. Um, I posted a couple questions to uh, some pretty well-known sellers on on Amazon and eBay uh, that make YouTube videos, uh, Reezy Resells and uh, Homemade Entrepreneur and Ryan Roots. Um, all people that are super helpful provide some great content. They do have some paid content too, but the amount of free content they provide is just amazing. So, uh, but my question was, uh, I was looking at kind of a goal of how do I get to $500 a day, which I need to work on setting my goals better. It's something I haven't done. I have a big end goal, but I need to make smaller goals to get there. And so it's part of a book by Chris Hardwick called The Nerdist Way that I was looking at, which is definitely worth a look. But anyway, I'll do more on that later. But, um, one thing I... Uh, was asking is I'd like to get to where I'm $500 a day in sales because generally I'm making about half of what I'm selling so you know if I do $500 a day in sales then I'm going to be $250 a day in profit um, and that's a really good start for, for what I'm doing so that's kind of the goal I was looking for but then I realized this week um, I wasn't sending anything in and I haven't sourced anything for a week. I've been working morning till night for um, seven, five days straight. Um, so part of that idea of being in flux is causing that problem. But uh, so I haven't sourced anything, but the thing that did come up was I realized that even while I was gone, um, I did do a good job of right before I left, I knew I was going to be out of town, I wasn't going to be able to source anything. I had a couple eBay items that I took with me because I knew that they may sell and it's a good thing I did because they did sell and I shipped them from where I was at. Um, I don't have a huge eBay inventory yet, uh, that's next coming up. So um, I had an iPod, two iPods and uh, a bedding set that I all sold made good money on um, that I sourced off of offer up and our local classifieds and then flipped on eBay but I did send in a bunch of FBA stuff uh, right before I left so all that stuff hit and I was pretty happy um, like I said I want that goal of 500 a day but I was pretty stoked because it happened so just so happened that uh, it was a payday from Amazon like the day after I left and it was almost 500 and now I'm only three four days into the next section and I'm already at 500 and I uh, attribute that to the question I asked all these resellers was how big an inventory do I need before I can see $500 a day in sales and they all kind of came back with the same answer and I was kind of disappointed because none of them could give me an answer. And the, I realize now though that the reason they can is that there's too many variables as to item rankings, item cost, all this stuff. So I have a pretty good mix of things because of how I've been sourcing. I have a pretty consistent couple of sellers that you know, they only cost me 79 cents. They sell for $6. I sell a couple a week and I'm making $3 a piece on You know, those don't add up a whole lot, but they do add up and there's not a big investment up front. 
and there's not a lot of um, work goes into getting them to Amazon. And at the same time, I have longer tail items that I picked up. Um, in another deal, I picked up one of those new Sega Genesis multi-game systems. I picked it up for 20 bucks, and it sold for 80, but it's set for two weeks. Or I have some water bottles that were $30 a piece, and there was some race to the bottom going on, and I let them set, and now, you know, mine are selling for $30 a piece and I paid 12 so there's that such a mix in what you can source that I don't know uh, that I'm ever going to I don't know that there's a formula where I'll be ever be able to say yeah you have to have this much inventory to get this amount of sales per day right now I don't have a lot of space used up at Amazon FBA I haven't ramped up eBay at all and um, I do have, according to my inventory labs, $7,000 of FBA inventory. Um, and my average sales rank is right around a million. Um, or, I'm sorry, right around 100,000. But um, the, the average sales rank number, I don't think really gives you a good idea because there's so many different, I have so many items across different categories that, that that average sales rank doesn't really mean anything. Um, if you were doing all books, then you might be able to see, you know, okay, my average book price is this. But anyway, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, just an update on, on business-wise FBA where I'm at. So I have still been focusing on FBA. I'm going to get back into sourcing this week because I'm going to go back to Arizona next week. So I want to try and get some sourcing in later this week. Before I have a couple jobs and start up again um, so I can keep that going I don't want to just let it stagnate while I'm out of town for a couple weeks hoping to source some stuff down there and, but it just was too busy so um, with all that I'm also looking I've been doing some on and off stuff on eBay I mentioned in another video uh, because I I've been buying stuff on offer up in our local classifieds and flipping it on eBay and have done pretty well on some items um, and I'll get into it in the next video but I'm gonna really start pushing I'm gonna set up an eBay store I'm actually gonna grab some shelves today uh, organization if I was Superman is my kryptonite so I need to make sure I stay organized um, now that the weather's better, I'm going to get the shop set up, the warehouse area set up at the house, and uh, be able to have an eBay store set up that I can turn off and on when I need to when I'm going to be gone for a few days. So that's kind of where I'm at and what I'm working towards and the kind of numbers I'm seeing on Amazon now. Uh, like I said, my I don't know that it's going to match what anybody else has got just because, like I said, I asked all those pretty well-known guys that are selling a whole lot more than I am. And uh, it's all about diversity of inventory and the size of your inventory. The bigger the inventory, you know, you're going to have more of those long tail items that are going to drop off and sell. And then that's going to, you know, build into your fund. So, um, you know, I've got a whole bunch of items that I paid less than $20 for that they're on FBA for $150. Uh, and Amazon's about sold out of theirs to where mine will be coming up. Uh, and then on eBay, I've got a bunch of listings coming up for those that are sold. Or that are, I have like 85 watchers and I've only got 10 available. So uh, hopefully they'll start moving too. But. Uh, looking at those smaller goals as you set them and working towards them can definitely keep you focused and keep you going through those times. So set those smaller goals and keep working and see what you got. So until next time guys, everybody have a good one and uh, keep sourcing.